Hey everyone, welcome to MLSsoccer.com's Anatomy of Goal. I'm Greg Lawless, aka Gagents on Twitter. And today we look at Jossie Zardes' goal for the LA Galaxy in a 5-1 win over the New England Revolution. This strike shows one of my favorite things in soccer, a goal at the near post. Every time I see one, it makes me smile as wide as well. Zardes' smile itself after a goal. Let's wind it back and break it down. Now this entire sequence starts in the midfield. LA defender AJ De La Garza steps up and has a ton of time and space to seek out the best way forward. Where are the defenders, you might ask? Good question. The Revolution are hanging back with two lines of four staying very compact. They've just lost a man to a red card, so it's understandable that they're concentrating on keeping their shape. But it's also their undoing, because with no pressure on De La Garza, he's able to pick out Robbie Keane on the left side. Now there are a few things as scary for a defender as seeing Robbie Keane with the ball at his feet and space to operate in. I mean, you might as well just call it a gimme and a reset for the kickoff. Anyway, when Keane gets the ball in this situation, he's one-on-one -on -one with Darius Barnes. The Revs appear to be in decent shape with all four defenders lined up across the back. But under the circumstances, and given Keane's ability to shake defenders, center back Andrew Farrell should have drifted out to support Barnes. Farrell had defensive cover behind him, Gonzalez and Tierney are both there, so he could have gone out there without much of a problem. Meanwhile, Barnes is so worried about being beaten that he just lays off and allows Keane to first drive into the box and second play an uncontested cross into the middle. Now let's look at the other side. While Keane is doing his thing, Zardes starts to do his. Namely, he's getting on his horse and making a hard diagonal run to the near post. It's clinical and a thing of beauty. Two keys. One, he looks to make sure that Keane has his head up to see the run. And two, he gets inside position on defender Chris Tierney. Tierney, who does get a glimpse of Zardes as he starts his run, doesn't do a good job of angling his defensive tracking into the path of Zardes. If Tierney had angled his run more towards Zardes, he might have been able to make a play on the ball. Instead, Zardes has a clear path with a view of the ball and the goal. And Keane's pass is perfectly weighted so that Zardes can keep the defender shielded from the ball and not have to adjust his stride to take the shot. At that point, it's all over but the smiling. Well, that's it for this episode of Anatomy of a Goal. Let me know what you think and hit me up on Twitter at Gagens. Tell me what goal you'd like to see anatomized and maybe we'll wind it back and break it down.